All right, buddy, let's go. It's the end of the line for you. <laughs> Start cutting that bed board. We'll have this out to the house in an hour for you, Mrs. McMillan. I know what it's like to have a backache. I really appreciate it. Oh, I've been sleeping on the floor for the last two nights, and my husband really hates it. Hates to sleep alone. No, he hates sleeping on the floor. Why does your husband sleep on the... Oh. Hey, lady, I, I'm a friend of the commissioner's. What are you doing here? Well, I, I, I followed you. You beat me. Well, I, I came in the window. You shouldn't leave them open. Burglars. I don't think I caught your name. I'm Soup Metzger. I, I got a message. Soup? soup? Yes, yeah, soup. S-O-U-P. Soup like you drink. Most people say you eat soup, but you don't. You drink it. Uh, I got a message for the commissioner. Well, he should be home shortly. Would you like to come in? I can't. Then may I come in? Oh, yeah, sure. Thank you. Commissioner, what do you think would happen if I turned on the siren? We'll get a headache. Where? 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 Where is he? I, I gotta get back to the Ark. The Ark? I wouldn't have taken a chance like this, but it was the commissioner who saved my life. Any other lawyer, innocent or not, <clears throat> I'd get the gas chamber. I owe him. Would a drink help? No, I, I don't drink the hard stuff. Soft stuff? Uh, no stuff. Some soup, soup. Well, I, no, I, I can't. I, I gotta go. Look, tell the commissioner to meet me at the old place. Where are you going? We have a front door, you know. Oh. They might be out there. Today. Why not? It's your day off. Okay, then I quit as of yesterday. All right. Tell me. Well, you won't believe it. I was sleeping in my own bed, it's my day off, and a strange man comes in the kitchen window. Oh, very shifty guy. The eyes, nose to one side. 
He walked like that. How tall was he? I don't know. I didn't get a good look at him. It's okay, Mildred. He was a friend. Friends come in through doors, not through windows. What about family? Do they get to come through doors? Oh, you know. How about this friend? Who was he? His name was Soup Metzger. Soup? Yeah. What do you want? Well, he had a message for you. It was very important. Well, what was it? Oh, he didn't leave it. He wanted to talk to you. He was afraid to wait. When will he be back? Oh, he's not coming back. He said for you to meet him at the old place. What old place? What old place? <laughs> I assumed you knew. I mean, if somebody says the old place, I assume it's some old place that you know. Sally, if some old friend out of your distant past said meet me at the old place, would you know what he meant? Mm-hmm. Girls John, third floor, across from the chemistry lab. Yeah. You're gonna meet him at the Girls John? No. I used to work in the cable car power plant. Oh, no. What's wrong with the cable car power plant? Nothing. You're not going, are you? I have you? to go. If Soup says it's important, it's important. Mac! Sorry, I was followed by big shoes. Your house gonna be robbed tonight. Soup. Robbed? Mildred will hear you. Robbed? Mildred heard you. There's nothing to worry about, Mildred. There's a policeman stationed outside. We're going to be home tonight. Oh, no, we're not. No, we're not. Where are we going? We're going to Alex and Connie's for dessert and coffee, but first we're all meeting at the costume company. Sally. Mac. I'm the co-chairman. You can't just... I am not wearing a costume. I hate the idea. Well, at least you could wear something simple. Like a pirate's costume. I'll wear a business suit. That's a now pirate costume. Some okay. soup, Sally? Oh, I'd be delighted. But I didn't think it was that funny. Oh, my. That's the best I ever heard. I like that one myself. <laughs> Listen, what time will you be coming home? Long before your movie is over. We'll drop you off, Mildred. Oh, I'm meeting Agnes. 
Agnes? Mm. Who's Agnes? Agnes, the Bersane's new maid. Oh, oh, it's on the way. Go pick her up. Commissioner? Yes. Can I talk to you a minute? Yes, excuse me. All I know is we're checking out. I wish I knew what they were saying. And I don't think Mr. McMillan told us everything about his meeting with Sue. The policeman is telling the commissioner about a bullet. It was a 38 caliber. What bullet? The commissioner was shot at by a size 15 shoe today. They found billiard chalk on a footprint. They've got leads on a couple of suspects. I knew he was keeping something from us. The policeman says they're getting nowhere locating Sue. Mildred, how do you do it? At this distance and with them mumbling like that? How do you hear everything? I'm a maid. Nobody tells us anything, but we're expected to know everything. Oh, who expects you to know everything? Other maids. Oh. Welcome. It is good to see you. Forgive me, I do not remember your face. But your blood is familiar. Tom, you look sensational. Mmm, doesn't he? How does she recognize me in this makeup? What makeup? Where's Janet? Just you wait. It's a divine surprise. How's your back? Oh, it hurts. How did you know? The way you're moving. You really should do something for that. Like sleeping in a coffin with a stake through my heart. I got that bedboard you advised, doctor. It's pretty painful, Tom. Isn't there something she could take? Yes. Huh? Exercise. Fencing, for instance. I recommend it strongly. Janet, you look fabulous. Doesn't she? I've done the whole Pooh series. You should see my yore. Hello, Mac. Hi, Janet. You know, you should really ask Alex to teach you how to fence because he's really a terrific teacher. He didn't take a penny for the lessons. Hey, would you like to try on your costumes? I'm not wearing any. Then you should be the smash of the party. Oh, I'd like to try mine on. Come. Alex, got a new pupil for you. My price for ladies is very unreasonable, but very pleasant. How are you, Sally? Fine, how are you? Hi, Mac. Hi. Hey! Hey! You think I look like a dog? <laughs> Whatever it is, you're the next side. Sally? Hi. Where's Mac? Oh, hi, Mac. Is Chuck here? No, I don't know where he is. He was supposed to meet me half an hour ago. Maybe he's at work. Stockbrokers never work. And at that, they quit in the middle of the afternoon. Come along, Mrs. McMillan. Let's get you suited up. <laughs> Hey, Alex, where's Connie? Behind her. Marie. Marie Antoinette, my queen. Oh, guys. You. You in the suit. Meet me in the buttery at the stroke of midnight. Let us eat cake. Hi, everybody. Hi, Hi Chuck. Chuck. I'm sorry I'm late, honey. Well, where were you? Oh, honey, you've got something on your jacket. Is it blood? <laughs> it looks like blood. Well, a cat was run over. I stopped and took it to the SPCA. The vet says he's going to be all right. That was very nice of you. You better get into your costume. <laughs> you better get into yours. What are you going to be, Chuck? Casanova, of course. Well, then you don't have to change. <sighs> Hello, Connie. Hi, Chuck. Hey, Alex, let's get out of these things. We'll go home and get everything ready. Okay. I'm ready. Aren't you going to try any costume? <laughs> Alex, the door. The lights. We've been robbed. Jewelry, the, the necklace is still there. Hi, Commissioner. No, you didn't disturb me. 
Where? When? What? Okay, I'll get a robbery detail right on it. Yeah, I'll be there in a couple minutes myself, sir. No, it's just a few blocks from me. Good night. Why would they go to all the trouble of opening the safe and not steal the jewelry? Tis a paradox. Tis a paradox? Yes, a paradox. A paradox, a paradox, a most unusual paradox. Ho, 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 a paradox. <laughs> what? What's going on? I used to study singing. I thought I might go into it as a profession. <laughs> yeah, well, you made the right choice. I'm finished, Commissioner. It's all yours. Thank you. This could be a replacement. A fake? Wouldn't they close the door of the safe? That way no one would know that the original had been taken. Well, they might have heard the maid coming home, and then they had to get off in a hurry. The maid didn't come home. She went to the movies with Mildred. Well, something must have scared them off. Connie, who sold you this necklace? Alex bought it for me. It's from Rochemont, an original design. Why? I'd like to have it authenticated. Oh, sure. I'll... Take it in tomorrow and have it checked. Good. Would you like some coffee? Oh, you must be exhausted. Unless, uh... Oh, no, we'll go. Nothing more we can do here. Mac, thank you very much. Thanks. Sorry it had to happen, Alex. And you, Sergeant. Good night. Good night. I hate to mention it, but there's one more thing you can do for me. Name it. Let me have my necklace back. Oh! <laughs> Keep it in a safe place. It's Mildred, Mac. What is? Mildred, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I just didn't want to go in the house till somebody came home. How much? Well, that's all right, Mildred. I'll get it. No, thanks. It's my fare. I'll pay it. Well, that's... I'll get it. No. Really, I insist. I'll do it, Mildred. How much, driver? Nine seventy. Nine seventy. Nine seventy. It wasn't a very long movie. Can't handle that, Mac. Why not? That's a 20. Company policy. We're not supposed to carry a lot of dough. Sally, do you have any cash? Sorry, darling, no. Mildred, can I borrow some money? I don't have any. You don't have any? You just offered to pay the taxi. In fact, you insisted on it. Yeah, but I knew you wouldn't let me. All right, give me what change you got. Sorry, it might help to write City Hall. Why? We could carry more change if we had better protection. And believe me, if there's anything that needs changing in this town, it's that police commissioner. Thanks, Mac. I hope it doesn't get in the paper, Sally. Mm. What? what? What happened? Oh, well, the, uh, the Dusane house was broken into. No! Well, now, Mildred, take it easy. No one was hurt. Nothing was stolen. It was just uh, broken into, that's all. Boy, that minestrone was right. A, a soup. He said there was going to be a robbery, only he had the wrong address. How did you like the movie? Did you and Agnes like it? Oh, uh, uh yeah, it was fine. It was a Danish mystery. Uh, a lot of naked murderers. Now, Mildred, as I told you before, no burglar is going to break into this house. We don't have anything of great value. Other than you. You know, Commissioner, for a Scotsman, you got a lot of Barney in you. Now you just relax and you get a good night's rest. It's easy for you to talk. You got a cop to sleep with. This is one of those inside-out, upside-down cases that my father would have loved. Nothing fits. Oh, I'll tell you one thing that fits me in this bed. I'm exhausted. <laughs> Sally, what did you do to this bed? I put a bedboard in it. it makes my back feel better. You're supposed to put it under the mattress. <laughs> oh, how was I supposed to know it didn't come with instructions? Or... Oh, the is softer than this. Why don't we just get down to what's really bothering you? Agnes. Mildred said she went to the theater with Agnes. What's bothering you about that? But she didn't say. Mildred, the great warrior of all time, not one question about her friend. Well, you said right off the bat. <clears throat> 
Nearly the minute that we walked into the door that nothing was taken, that everyone was okay. True, but not one word like, how is she? Is she upset? Where is she? Why isn't she home? How do you know she's not home? I left instructions with a the policeman there to call me when she gets in. Everyone's missing. Agnes is missing. Soup is missing. The man that shot at you, sh shot at you, is missing. How did you know that? Will you grab the sheet? Well, Mildred happened to overhear you when you were talking to the policeman. Happened to overhear? Well, Mac, I don't like the idea about you getting shot at. On that particular subject, you can take second place behind me. But right now, I like having you very much in front of me. Hey, what about your bag? You shouldn't have been lifting all that. Just pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Hello. But who? Who's going to be there? No, wait a minute, don't hang up. I want to talk. What's wrong? Well, Sue, he's trying to help us. Right. Where are you going? Out. Well, I could have figured out that you were going out. He says I'll meet somebody interesting if I go to the Hammond building in 1201. Do you think it could be Big Shoes? I don't know. But I'll soon find out. Take care, Mac. It's company policy. What's that for? I don't want to lose my place. <laughs> right here. Yes, Commissioner, I'll be right there. Uh, no, sir, uh, I wasn't doing anything, just relaxing and reading and catching up on last week's newspaper. Yeah, goodbye. Wait up for me. He's alive. Call an ambulance. I'm going up the 12th floor. Emergency. In right here, send an ambulance squad over to the uh, Hammond building right away, please. Take anything you want, but don't take my life. It's all yours. A anything. How do I call downstairs? Dial four. Enright, it's big shoes. He's on his way downstairs. Be careful. But, sir, next time I should be the one to go upstairs alone, and you should be the one to do the phoning. Yes, we'll have to work that out. You're Corlino? Yes, sir. I'm Commissioner of Police. What are you doing here at 2.30 in the morning? Working. The man in the hallway, what was his name and what was he doing here? I haven't got the faintest idea. Maybe he came to rob me. Maybe you had a prearranged meeting with him. Oh, no, sir. No, 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 no. You had no meeting with anyone? Hello, Chuck. Hello. 
How did you know I was here? If you're going to have a secret meeting, you'll have to be a little bit more careful. Hello. I saw your name in the log downstairs. A secret meeting with my name on the log? Isn't that what an honest man would do? Well, you're probably wondering why I'm here. You can eliminate, probably. Well, Mr. Carlino is a very good client of mine. He works late and he sleeps late. And he wanted me to buy some stocks for his account first thing in the morning when the market opened. Why didn't you handle it by phone? Um, it was a rather large private transaction in the amount of uh, $45,000 in cash. In cash? I have this problem with my wife. I don't like checks clearing through the account. Where's the 45000 Right here. Excuse me, sir, but Big Shoes got away. The guard okay? Yes, he's on his way to the hospital. This is a friend of mine, Chuck Forrest. Hi. Hi. Henry Gunters, will you? Undoubtedly, this explains the presence of the man you were chasing, the robber. He must have known my habits. Neat. Neat, but not gaudy. You can't blame me for going after a nice commission now, can you, Matt? Well, if you don't need me any longer, stockbrokers have to get up and to work at 5 o'clock, remember? Sometimes at 2.15. <laughs> uh, Mr. Corlino, I'll send a bonded messenger over for the money. That's, that's fine. Good night, Mac. Good night, Chuck. Mr. Corlino, let me ask you something. You're a jeweler. Are you by any chance familiar with the Dusane necklace? Commissioner, you're a policeman. Do you really expect me to answer this without the benefit of an attorney? No. But perhaps you'd better alert him. case, the more it involves our friends. Alex and Connie were robbed. Soup is hiding someplace, probably in danger. And I just met Chuck in an all-night jeweler's. Sally, women talk to one another. Do you know if any of our friends are having money problems? No. Let's go to bed. Wait a minute. That let's go to bed was not a let's go to bed. It was a let's not talk about it. Let's go to bed. You're so smart. I don't know why I worry about you. Let's go to bed. It's Alex. It's Alex. Alex. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Forget it. You can't forget something like it. It's Alex. I know, I know. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's my fault. I shouldn't have brought it up. I can't say any more about it. Yes, you can. What about Alex? I promised Connie that I wouldn't tell anybody. <laughs> but I'm your husband. Yeah, I, I know, I know. You're my husband to me. But to Connie, you're anybody. Well, Sally, you know that anything you tell me, I'll hold in confidence. I know, Mac. But I was told to hold what I was told in confidence. Now, if I tell you, I'll be violating that confidence in the belief that you will keep the confidence. But what's to prevent you from revealing that confidence to someone that you feel equally confident will, uh, will keep the confidence? Sally, you're withholding evidence. Mac, I'm going to trust you. Good. Now, a couple of weeks ago, Connie indicated that she and Alex were having a little rough go of it financially. Now, about a week ago, when we were all at the theater, I think, now I'm not sure, but I think that Connie was trying to sell the necklace. Well, if you're right, Connie's desperate. You don't think she'd arrange to have the necklace stolen so she could claim the insurance, do you? 
What a terrible thing to say. It's also meaningless, because the necklace wasn't stolen. Let's go to bed. Ha! Ah, sure, you can sleep. You're not guilty. You didn't violate a confidence. I wasn't withholding evidence. I was withholding nothing. Sally. She was confident that I would keep her confidence. But you said that it was evidence, and evidently you think that evidence justifies violating a confidence. Where are we going? To bed. I had that secret. <laughs> Commissioner. Who left me this note? Mrs. McMillan. Well, it's in your handwriting. Oh, I know, I know. She was in a hurry. She asked me to write it down. Well, what does it say? She don't know. I can't read it. Do you remember what she said to write down? Uh, yeah. She said to tell you that she didn't want to waken you. She was in a hurry, and she'd be at the club decorating the ballroom all day. Doesn't seem to be what I wrote down here. It's good enough. What would you like this morning, Commissioner? Oh, just a cup of coffee. What are you nervous about? Nervous? Yeah, hands are shaking. Uh, yeah, I noticed that. Don't you feel well? I'm feeling guilty. That's what I'm feeling. Commissioner, I'm an accessory. I violated the trust you put in me. What did you do? Well, uh, Commissioner. Commissioner, Agnes never went to the movie. What? Well, she got a headache just before we went in. I said I'd go home with her, but uh, she insisted I stay. And then when you came home and told me her place had been ransacked and you didn't even mention Agnes, well, I didn't know what to say. I didn't want to incriminate her. I called her early this morning, and she never came home. Well, Commissioner, I've withheld evidence, but I didn't want to violate a confidence. But evidently, the evidence that I didn't want to violate was a violation of the confidence that you placed in me. Well, but are you secretly the mother of that woman I married? Hi, Max. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Sally, this is urgent. i got to find a suit, and I'll try to put it together. Where are you seeing? He said Ark, Mac. You sure he said Ark, not Park? Oh, no, I'm sure, Mac, because when he said Ark, I thought of two by two, twins. It would be nice to have twins. Yeah. We'll have to get together on that. Bye, Mac. The machine's malfunctioning, sir. How long will it be before we get a report on Agnes? Oh, it shouldn't be very long. Yeah, well, I'm supposed to meet the mayor and... 20 minutes, that is, if the elevator strike is settled. I didn't know the mayor was negotiating the elevator strike. He's not. He's stranded on the 38th floor of the Equitable Building. Oh, well, that must be Dallas now, sir. What does it say? It says the machine is working, is working, is working. Here it is, Dallas, Texas. Agnes Willoughby, domestic servant. Charged and convicted, 1951, theft of ring. Put out an APB on her. What about big shoes? Anything on here? Nothing as yet, sir, but I've got two men checking every shoe store in town. If you find a pair of tan loafers my size, let me know. What about my friend, Chuck Forrest? Well, the lab reports that it was animal blood on the coat and everything else checks out. He did take an injured cat to the SPCA at the time he stated. Good. What about our friendly round-the-clock jeweler, Carlino? Anything on him? Negative. Anything on soup? Negative. This whole case is negative. Affirmative. We've got to find out where Soup lives. We don't want to lose him. Sir, Mrs. McMillan was the last one to spend any time with Soup. Do you remember if she remembers his saying anything that'll help us? Well, I remember asking her, but she didn't remember anything, remember? <laughs> Great lunch. How'd you ever find that place? A friend of Max, who's a soup freak, told me that they had the best chowder in town. Thanks for picking up the check. Forget it. Next time, it'll be your turn. I hope so. May I, may I tell you something in confidence? Absolutely not. <clears throat> Sally, please, I just got to talk to someone, and you are my best friend. I, Chuck's business is really doing terribly. Please don't tell me. My husband is the commissioner of police. Before that, he was the best criminal attorney in town. He gets everything out of me. He even knows my age, so don't tell me. Oh, 
was that? That's it, the Ark. The Ark? That's where he lives. I've got to find a phone. There must be a phone around here. There. Okay, I'll check back in an hour. Ah, don't close this. I have to call my husband. Lady, this is the police call box. Business only. Well, this is a business call. My husband is the commissioner of police. Oh, sure he is. He is. Call him up and ask him. This is an emergency. I am Mrs. McMillan. Tell him I have the soup information that he needs. The soup information? I'm not going to say another word. Now, just call him. Plug me through to the commissioner's office, please. Sir? This is Patrolman Dubowski. There's a young lady here who says she's your wife. Dark? Yes, sir. That too, sir. Well, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're the one. Hi, Mac. Mac, I found the Ark. It's a boat. Where? At the Bay Marina near the entrance. Bay Marina. Sally, you're a credit to my profession. I'll keep an eye out till you get here. No, you go on home. We'll take care of it. I'll be right there, sir. Where am I going? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. 